Hello, I'm Andy, Well Control Instructor. In this presentation video, we will talk about BOP Hydraulic Control Unit, how it works, what are the main components, and other basic principles. Course participants are recommended to watch this presentation video before the class to make the class meeting more productive and efficient. Thank you. Hydraulic accumulator is energy storage system. Energy is stored by forcing in hydraulic fluid into pre-charged nitrogen bottles. Empty bottle already has 1000 psi nitrogen pressure, by pumping hydraulic fluid into the bottle, the nitrogen is compressed on top and the pressure is increased to 3000 psi. The pump runs automatically, it starts at 2700 psi, and it stops at 3000 psi. This pressurized fluid is useful mainly when the rig lost power, and the pumps become unavailable, to ensure that the BOP can be closed in this emergency conditions. The useful volume is the amount of fluid that can be forced out from the bottle, by expanding the nitrogen from 3000 psi maximum pressure, down to 1200 psi minimum pressure. The usable fluid is about 50% of the bottle capacity. The combined volumes of all available bottles, must be enough to close all rams, open HCRs, and close annular. The capacity of the hydraulic tank must be two times the usable fluid volume of all available bottles. Drawdown test, is a test to ensure that the accumulator unit has enough capacity in emergency situations. The pumps will be turned off, and the pressurized fluid from the bottle will be used to activate BOP. The bottle pressure will decrease every time BOP function is activated. The final pressure after closing all rams, open HCRs, and close annular should be above 1200 psi. If the final pressure is less than 1200 psi, it is allowed to wait 2 by 15 minutes to observe if the pressure increase by itself. If the pressure is not increase above 1200 psi, then the test is fail. Drawdown test, should be done after rig up, after any repair, and periodically every 6 months. Bottles are connected to two regulators, one special for annular preventer, and another one for a manifolds for all rams and HCR. For annular preventer, usually the pressure is regulated from 3000 psi, to between 600 and 1500 psi, depending on the manufacturer of annular preventer. For the manifold, the pressure is regulated to 1500 psi. All rams and HCR on the BOP stack will be connected to this manifold. The BOP hydraulic control unit must be equipped with two sets of charging pumps, with independent power source, usually one is electric and the other is pneumatic. Two regulators are connected to the bottles, one special for annular, and the other one for rams and HCR manifold. The manifold regulator could be bypassed by opening bypass valve. If this bypass valve is opened, the pressure in the manifold will be the same with the bottle pressure, 3000 psi. This bypass valve is closed all the times, and only opened in case it is required to activate shear rams, to cut drill string across the shear rams. To control BOP position for each function, there will be one specific 3 position 4 way valve for each BOP function. This valve could be activated manually from the hydraulic unit, or from remote panel. The position of the 3 position 4 way valve will determine the position of each connected equipment. During normal drilling operations, the valve's position are open for rams and annular, but closed for HCR. To activate the BOP function from driller remote panel, the driller must push the master valve and holds, allowing 125 psi air pressure available on the panel. With master valve is still being pushed, the driller will activate one function, for example closing the ram. The pressurized air from the panel will be sent to the BOP hydraulic control unit, and the air pressure will be directed into air cylinder of the corresponding 3 position 4 way valve. The valve handle will move due to air pressure, 
the opening light goes off and the closing light illuminates. It is important to note that this remote function will not functioning if there is no air on the rig floor. The valve determines the position of the corresponding BOP function, by inverting the side of hydraulic piston that receive hydraulic pressure, the BOP could be closed. In open position, 1500 psi hydraulic pressure is available in the opening chamber and pushing the piston outward, to keep the BOP open. Once the handle is moved to closed position, the closing chamber will get 1500 psi, so the piston will be pushed inside to close the BOP rams. When one pipe rams is closed, the driller will observe the following. First, the green lamp will light out and the red lamp illuminates, indicating that the handle is moving from open to close position, please note that the lamp indicator is only indicating handle position, and not BOP position. Second, the manifold pressure gauge will go down, decreasing from initial position at 1500 psi, shortly after, it will come back, up to 1500 psi again, indicating that the BOP piston is moving. Third, the accumulator bottle pressure will decrease from 3000 psi. If the pressure is decreasing below the charging pump setup pressure, then the charging pump will be activated, and the pressure of the bottle will be back to 3000 psi again. For any RAMS or HCR activation, the hydraulic pressure on annular BOP will not change, and stay constant. Here is an example how to close BOP RAMS by changing the position of the 3 position 4 way valve. While the RAMS is still in open position, the opening chamber has 1500 psi from manifold, while the closing chamber has no pressure and connected to accumulator tank. When the air pressure from remote panel push the handle of the 3 position 4 way valve, the valve is then moved to closed position. The light will change, and the opening chamber is now connected to the tank, while the closing chamber is now connected to 1500 psi, with hydraulic pressure now is acting on closing chamber, the piston will be pushed in, and the rams will be closed. The hydraulic fluid that was inside the opening chamber, is sent back to the tank on control unit, and it will be reused. The three position four way valve could also be operated manually to operate the BOP. When the remote unit cannot be used, or when everyone has been evacuated out of the rig floor in emergency conditions, then someone could still close the BOP, directly from the hydraulic control unit. It is important to keep the hydraulic control unit in protected area and safe distance from the well to ensure the unit will function properly even in emergency conditions. The three position four way valve determines which side of the BOP piston is connected to manifold and got hydraulic pressure. By changing the valve position, the side of the piston that connected to hydraulic pressure will be changed, and the BOP position could be changed, from open to close and vice versa. On jackups rigs and big land rigs, the middle position of the valve will connect both sides of the piston to the accumulator tank, so there will be no pressure inside the BOP piston chamber and no pressure inside BOP hydraulic hoses. So the piston could be moved almost freely, this position is useful for finding and isolating leaks on the hoses or on seals, and also for troubleshooting the BOP hydraulic system in general. This three position four way valve is manipulator type. Smaller land rigs are usually using selector type valve, there will be no connection from BOP hoses to the accumulator when the valve is in the middle position. There is a risk of trapped pressure inside the hoses or inside the BOP chamber with this type of three position four way valve. Always following the manufacturer procedures to release the trapped pressure prior to do any maintenance or repair job to avoid any potential accident.